Our first topic under business math is interest. So we shall begin with simple interest. What are the terms or terminologies that often appear when we talk about interest? You have principal, denoted by P. It's the amount of money that is involved in a transaction. Rate or rate of interest, denoted by R. It is often written as percent or sometimes it is written in decimal form. Time, the length of time, denoted by T. Often it is given in years, but when we go to credit cards, we will discover there that there are rates of interest that are in terms of days and months. And the interest, I, it is equal to the product of the principal times the rate of interest times time. So when you are working with problems that uh, involve interests, principal rates of interest and time, you must always pay attention to the units of your quantities. They must agree with each other. Example 2.14, computing the interest of a loan based on simple interest. Find the interest paid to a loan of 50,000 pesos after three years based on simple interest based on simple interest rate of 9%. So let us identify what's given here. So our principal is 50,000. Our rate of interest is 9%. Okay, so pay attention to how we, how we write it in decimal form. It's 0 0.09. T is three years. So the interest paid to a loan, to a loan of 50,000 after three years, at an interest rate of 9% is equal to I. I is equal to P times R times T. So that's it. It's equal to 13,500 pesos. Example 2.15, finding the interest rate of a loan based on simple interest. Hans Pa borrowed 35,000 pesos from a bank at a simple interest to be paid in two years. The interest that was paid is 6,650 pesos. 6,650 pesos. What is the rate of interest of the loan? So we are looking for R. Okay, so again, let us lay down what's given. Let us identify. Let us identify them. So the principal is equal to 35,000. T is two years. The interest that was paid is 6,650. But we don't know R. We are required to produce the value for R. Okay, so what do we do? Well, well, we write first our general equation for interest. It is equal to P times R times T. And then, what, what do we do next? Then we solve for R and we do it by multiplying 1 over P times T. And it becomes... So P divided by P is equal to 1, T divided by T is equal to 1, so this is just equal to R. So R is equal to I all over P times T. So it is equal to 6,650 divided by 35,000 times 2, and R is equal to 0 0.095, or in percent, this is... This is equal to 9.5%.